Hello and welcome to In the Kitchen with Matt. I am your host, Matt Taylor. Today I'm going to show you how to make a really easy rye bread. If you like bread and you like rye bread, you're going to love this recipe. It is a type of soda bread, so it's really fast to put together and it only takes about an hour start to finish before you can eat it. So it's a type of quick bread. Again, it's really easy to do. If I can do it, you can do it. Before we move on, make sure to subscribe to my channel and hit that notification bell so you don't miss out on any of my new videos. Let's get baking. Down below in the description box, you'll find a list of the ingredients and their amounts. Begin by preheating the oven to 400 degrees Fahrenheit or 205 Celsius. Now this recipe comes out of this book called The Elder Scrolls Official Cookbook. And if you're not familiar with The Elder Scrolls, most of you probably aren't. It's a on a, it's a video game world, and there's a bunch of video games um, created in that world. Skyrim is probably the most popular of those. Morrowind is another one. And uh, I love playing those games. It's one of my favorite genre of games to play. And so this comes for, out of this cookbook from that world. Okay, so here we go. What we're gonna do is we are going to set these aside. I have a large bowl here. And I'm gonna add one and one half cups of dark rye flour. And one cup of whole wheat flour. And then I'm gonna add one tablespoon of baking soda. And then one half teaspoon of salt. And one fourth cup of light brown or dark brown sugar. And we'll just give this a nice little whisk here. And then I'm gonna kinda just make a little well here in the middle. There we go. And now, one half cup of root beer, or you could use like a dark stout beer. I don't drink beer, so I am using root beer. And then, one half cup of buttermilk. And that's all there is to it. And then I'm gonna come in here with a sturdy spoon. This is a silicone spoon, but you could use a wooden spoon, of course. And let's just mix this together until our dough forms. And it should be fairly sticky, but manageable. And once it comes together, I'm going to just pop it out here on this surface here. And I have a little bit of extra flour here in case I need it. Sometimes you'll need a little bit of extra flour to keep it from sticking. But let's just bring it all together here and knead it just a couple minutes just so it comes together. Just so it comes together like that. Now I'm gonna shape it into a loaf ball like this. And then, kind of a classic look for this, I'm just gonna get some flour here, is to kind of coat it in flour. So it looks like this. And then I'm gonna put it here on a sheet pan lined with a piece of parchment paper or you can use a silicone baking mat. And then I wanna cut a design, a very popular design on these is a hash mark. And that's gonna allow it to open up as it bakes and it just looks really cool. Now into the oven it goes for 40 minutes onto that step. And when it comes out of the oven, it'll look something like this. The design, um, depending on how deep you make the cut, uh, will depend on how wide, will depend on how wide 
it opens up and just let it cool for 15 minutes and you can put it on a wire rack to cool completely. I've already let this cool and now I want to cut into it and show you what it looks like. And it's gonna have a nice outer shell. It's gonna feel really heavy for its size and dense and that is very common for this type of bread. And you'll look, see what it looks like on the inside. Nice and dense and hearty. And that's what's cool about rye bread is it's very hearty and filling and healthy. I'll break off a piece. Mm. Just a very tiny, tiny slight bit of sweetness out. Not very much sweetness at all. And it's really good. This is perfect for dipping into like soups and stews and it'll soak up that uh, other flavor. Or you can just eat it by itself like this if you want. There you go. Nice, hearty, super easy to make rye loaf of bread, soda bread. If I can do it, you can do it. I'm Matt Taylor. This has been another episode of In the Kitchen with Matt. Thank you for joining me. As always, if you have any questions, comments, or requests, put them down below. And I will get back to you as soon as I can. Thumbs up, down in the corner, push it. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel and check out my other videos. Take care. Time for me to dive into this some more. Oh yeah. Mm -mm -mm.